Hi, this is Janine with Peoria Architectural Salvage. Um, I thought I'd just do a pretty simple video on changing out your door hardware. We've had a lot of customers come in for this specific purpose and um, although this isn't going to cover every type of door hardware that you might find, it'll cover a very common type, which is the front door system. You can see on ours here, this is our front door that I just actually changed um, the hardware out on because I didn't really like the other set that we have. You can see the thumb latch and, of course, the knob. It's fairly simple. Um, this acts as the deadbolt, and there is no skeleton key system for this. This is a mortise with a cylinder style, which is kind of a nice style to have. It's a little more secure than something with a skeleton key, which is why I wanted to keep this one and just change out the plate. So I'll show you guys how I did that. Um, and hopefully it helps you if you wanna change out some of your hardware too. I've gone ahead and just loosened this set screw right here. Sorry for the close up on my hand. Um, that set screw is the first thing that you're going to need to take out to remove the hardware. And the knob, huh, I don't have any screws so that plate shouldn't just fall off on your doors, but I haven't reinstalled it all the way yet, so that's why it's falling off. But you'll need to take the knob off first to remove any of the rest of the hardware here. Um, and you can see once the knob is off and you take, some have just two screws, some have four once you remove those, you'll be basically down to the door. You can see the doorknob spindle here, which is what the doorknob rests on, attaches to, is still sticking out. Um, and in here, you can see the other side of the cylinder lock. It's fairly simple to get the interior side off. I'll show you the exterior side here. This is what you'll see on the outside of your door if you have a mortise with a cylinder lock. Um, it's, it's really simple. This unscrews, which I'll show you how to do here in just a second. I'm not gonna unscrew ours because it's actually, ours was really hard to get back in because the threads are just a little tiny bit damaged. Um, so I'm not gonna take ours out, but I'll show you how you can get it out. It's, it's very simple um, and as long as the threads on your um, cylinder are in good condition, should just go right back in. And it is ideal to try and keep the same lock if you can, um, the one that they, that's in your door already if possible. I took ours out and had it rekeyed. It cost, I think, $14 to get it rekeyed with three new keys. So it's really cost effective. Um, if you wanted to buy a reproduction one, I think it's like $80 for a brass reproduction uh, lock. So it can get pretty expensive and that's just for this piece. That's not for any, any of the other hardware that you would need. Um, so what you would do if you're gonna change everything out is now that your back door knob is off, you can just slide this right out and see the little set screw there. If all you wanted to do was change your knobs, which is an easy thing to do if you just wanna get a fresh look on your door, maybe change them out with something a little bit fancier. Um, Really, all you have to do is just go get the desired pair of knobs that you want, and make sure that they fit properly inside this little collar piece here. If they're a little wide, um, you can see what I did is I, the knobs that I have here were a little bit snug. So what I did was took a Dremel with a grinder attachment and just went in there and ground a little bit of the brass down because brass is really soft. Um, you don't have to do that. You just have to find knobs that'll sit in there properly without being too tight. Otherwise, it's gonna be kind of a hassle to open your door. Um, and I'll show you guys how to replace those as well. This here is the edge of the door. You've got your daytime lock here, which I don't mess with much because I don't wanna accidentally lock myself out of the house. Some people use it, I don't. This is just the latch. Um, Here's where the little deadbolt um, comes out. And these two little screws right here, I'm gonna try to get in there closer, are set screws for the cylinder lock. If you're gonna remove this, which if you wanna change this plate out, you're gonna have to take this out, you will unscrew these just a little bit. 
You really don't need to unscrew them all the way. In fact, don't unscrew them all the way. Just loosen them up enough until this piece starts to turn. And you'll basically just unscrew this all the way until it comes completely out of the door. And then you'll be free to remove this plate if you wanted to switch that out. Now, finding plates can be um, a little difficult. You want them to match up with the existing hole for the doorknob and the existing hole for the cylinder lock. So you'll want to measure either from the bottom edge here to the middle of the hole for the spindle. You want to get pretty exact measurements, especially if you're looking for things online. You'll want to make sure that those match up because unless you're going to be changing out the entire lock mechanism, taking this box out, replacing the full set, you want those to match up because if they don't, you're not going to be able to use them. Um, you can take this full set out and I thought about doing that until I realized that a new mortise lock, which is this piece here, it sits, it's a little box that sits inside the door. It goes about three inches deep. Um, it was about $380 for a reproduction style, and that is just for the box. That's not for any of the hardware, not for the cylinder lock, no doorknobs, no plates, nothing. So um, keeping it, if you can, is a really cost-effective way, and it's easier, too. You don't have to drill any new holes in the door besides maybe a few new holes for your screws. As far as replacing this interior plate here, you're going to want to make sure that this little rod here lines up with the existing hole and with the existing hole for your, your knob there. You wanna make sure they're the same distance apart as the one you have now if you're getting a new one. That can be kinda of hard to do, but if you look long enough, you'll, you'll find something and you can kinda of see how this little rod here matches up with that hole inside the door and that throws the deadbolt when you're locking the door from the inside.